I'm Dr. Martin Skedion. I'm the president of the Delta State Civil Society Community, the umbrella body for all civil society organizations and non-state actors in Delta State. Here with me are some members of my ESCOs. We are here to give a press briefing on issues affecting the people, our country, and our states. I want to appreciate all stakeholders and civil society groups in Delta states for keeping calm and handling this issue of fuel, Ike, and Naira note scarcity with maturity as we look forward to get a lasting solution for the ongoing financial and fuel crisis in our states and country at large. As we speak, several fuel stations are still selling fuel in exorbitant rates. The government have not given us the normal price and how we can monitor to no fuel station that sell above the approved fuel pump price. Citizens are queuing in ATM machines all over the states to be able to get money to meet their daily needs. Shops are locked because traders record loss on a daily basis due to lack of cash and poor bank network to transfer money after purchase. The Delta State Civil Society community has engaged with members of Nupeng and NUP ROC during this period of fuel hike and they have expressed their views and assertions. In states where there is no enforcement of law, nothing strikes. So we want to give some recommendations. The Data State Civil Society community want to give some recommendations that can be followed. And if these recommendations are followed duly, I think we will see um, a lasting solution in our society and in our states. One, the NUP ROC, which is formerly called the DPRO, should do proper regulation to make sure independent marketers purchase fuel and get exchange rates at the appropriate amount to avoid cases of exorbitant exchange rates that may in turn increase the retail price. NUP ROC, in partnership with the Delta State Civil Society, security agencies, and other relevant bodies, should do proper monitoring of the sales of petrol in fuel stations to avoid illegal extortion of the public. The Delta State Civil Society will set up its own monitoring committee and will work in partnership with the law enforcement agencies to make sure that there is availability of the new Naira notes and fuel, transparency and orderliness in banks for a smooth distribution of the Naira notes and sales of fuel. I call on the federal government, the state government and all agencies responsible to address this issue before it will be out of hand. The hardship method on Nigerians by the policies of the government, especially the fuel hike and scarcity, and the currency is designed and swapped, which is less than three weeks before the general election, is not right. The provocation from this can lead to civil unrest that may overheat the policies, and this may affect the general elections. The government has no option but to do right. We call for the immediate uh, intervention of the government to make all these things right so that our elections can hold peacefully. Knowing fully well that interim government is not an option. Solidarity is forever. So, 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 solidarity is forever. So, 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 solidarity is forever. We shall always fight.